Hey everybody, Matty Ice here, and if you're like me and are sick and tired of Arc Titans ruining your PvP experience, then today's video is definitely for you. I'm going to showcase some funny meme build that I've been using recently to just make the game a little bit more interesting during this downtime. Now this does work a little bit better on some kind of control map, so the background gameplay you're going to see is from the most recent Iron Banner, and it really revolves around using stasis on Warlock. You can use stasis on any subclass and that's going to help. Strand obviously you can suspend things. But this build in particular is just for fun and just makes the game a little bit more exciting. Now what I'm talking about here is using Vesper of Radius and using Frost Pulse with that. Now unfortunately whenever I freeze people with this it seems to last for all of one second and whenever I get frozen by stasis it seems to last for an eternity. But still this is a really fun build you can use and it's just a great way to just like I said make the game a little bit more exciting. Now, as we all know, Arc Titans just love to eat their crayons, hold W, and punch things. Now, unfortunately, this does make the game a bit boring and annoying for the rest of us, so this is just one way you can help slow them in their spot, and you don't have to use this exact setup. There's several other ways you can kind of customize it and personalize it, but it does revolve around Frost Pulse, and you want to make sure you get your Rift Energy back quickly, but the grenade is all up to you. I personally like to use Cold Snap, and it actually served me pretty well. As you can see here, top of the leaderboard on the team, for one of the games that I'm showcasing here, and it's mostly objective gameplay, so I'm sure they got some better kills than I did, but it, like I said, this is really meant for that zone play. Now the reason why you want to use Frost Pulse is so you can freeze people on your Rift, and then Vesper of Radius obviously pulses your Rift and does damage. This helps you lock down a zone, and while it might not directly kill somebody, it will cause lingering damage. So you can see in the clip here, I just got killed, but I planted my Rift, and you'll see the hit markers that I get on the screen. That's going to lead to getting assists and extra damage on teammates, so it just really helps to do that kind of zone play. You can combine this with like a Wither Horde or something to really maximize that gameplay, but I recommend using a shotgun or a wave frame, something to break that frozen individual quickly. Now, as I mentioned, Vesper of Radius does do that pulse, it damages things, it does 71 damage in PvP, which isn't enough to outright kill somebody, but like you saw, it can damage and just help your team out. Now one thing that is really enjoyable about this build, especially as I mentioned with Arc Titans, you can freeze them while they're trying to shoulder charge you, or in this instance when you hear a thunder crash coming, if you can time it right, you can get great plays just like this. Now let's talk about the actual build here. So like I mentioned before, Vesper Radius pretty crucial to this build here. You can switch over to Osmomancy if you want to force yourself into Cold Snap Grenades, but this is going to be more for using turrets. You can use it with this build, but the Frost Pulse is kind of designed to revolve around your Rift, whereas this is more revolving around your Grenade. And it, it doesn't synergize as well, but it's still just a fun build you can do. Vesper is more of the, the meme build, whereas Cold Snap is more of the actual meta build. You can throw whatever mod you want onto here. Usually you're going to do your PvP mods such as targeting, unflinching, reloading, stuff like that. Uh, as I said before, weapons, shotgun, waveframe, anything along those lines. But as for the aspects, obviously you want Frost Pulse in there. And then I like to run Glacial Harvest. An alternate to that is Ice Flare Bolts, just because you can get those multiple freezes and like long distance ones. If you freeze somebody close to you, it can chain to somebody further away. But also Bleak Watcher, again, great for Osmiomancy, not as great here in Vesper build, but still something you can try out. Again, I like to run Cold Snap, but if you wanted to run Duskfield or even Glacier, that's also fine. Glacier just has that longer base cooldown, but it can kind of give you that barricade feel if you wanted to do something like that, whereas the others are more zone control and attacking. As far as fragments go, I like to run Conduction to get those shards to come back to you. I like to run chains to just give you extra recovery and give you a little bit more resilience when you're next to a frozen target. This pairs very well with the Glacier Grenade. Whisper of Durance just gives you that longer slow. And then Whisper of Shards to give you that increased resilience. And also those Stasis Crystals re regen your recharge rate. So again, this also pairs very well with Killing Enemies and the Glacier Grenade. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a fun little meme build that I run to make PvP a little more interesting for me and something that I hope you enjoy running yourself. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you think that would work better with this and if you found a better way to use Vesper Radius in your own builds.
With that, thank you all so much for watching. I would greatly appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one.